Hey, Coach. Uh, three weeks from tonight, you're back in that stadium with a full house and, and a real game. Is it? Does it feel like it's getting closer, or does three weeks feel like it's forever ago or forever ahead? No, it feels like it's close. I mean, it's way closer than it was yesterday. So, uh, <laughs> you know, but I think the, the key is getting done with our, our live work and the scrimmages and, um, and just making sure the team learns as much as we can from now until three weeks from now. So uh, um, just really happy with the team so far. Uh, I, I'm more pleased with uh, their efforts and leadership, but, but also the coaches and the demand. I mean, J.J. demands quite a bit from the, from the defense, and A-Rod uh, seems to be um, doing what he always does. And, and uh, Keaton looks really comfortable in the, uh, in the offense. I would have to say a lot of the other, the other quarterbacks look the same. So I, I thought uh, all together, I thought the team looked pretty, pretty good for uh, three weeks out before the game. Go ahead, Jared. Your turn, Kalani. What did you take away from the scrimmage today? What did you see out there? Yeah, I saw, I saw some guys stand out. I saw, I mean, well, it's easier when we watch the film to be able to evaluate it all. But um, we, we definitely do have some, uh, some talented players and some great skill players. I thought uh, um, up front, if I started on the O-line, D-line, we had some really good battles up front. And um, you know, I, I think uh, <laughs> just to get our D-line ready, you have, have to have those, those offensive linemen going. And being able to have everybody go and, and be aggressive. We had uh, 105 live snaps today, which was really nice. And, um, you know, and so we, we, we wanted to see our guys stress a little bit. But we wanted to put our guys in different situations too. And so I thought we had a lot, lot done in that time. And, I mean, it took a long time, but you know, it was nice to have the refs there. And, and there, there were some administrative uh, um, penalties, things that we can clean up, but uh, probably more on the defensive side than what we saw from the offense. Uh, so, uh, but it, it was things like late hits or face masks, stuff that we can control. We got to be more disciplined that, in that, um, that manner. But uh, overall, uh, really good scrimmage, um, some really good players. And uh, I, thought, I thought some guys were able to shine a little bit today. Along the same lines, Jay was just talking about the importance of substitutions, communication, game management, some of those things. How valuable is it to go through some of that stuff here at this point, you know, three weeks out, and be able to clean some of that stuff up before you get to the games? Yeah, I mean, I, I, that, that's that's you want it to look like so that you don't have to take timeouts every time to cover up for the uh, the timing and all that. I think uh, this year. With the with the rolling clock, the the calls will have to be in a lot quicker after after converting to first downs, and I, I thought uh, you know you could tell that that it was stressing the, um, a rod a little bit because uh, you know you, you, the the call you don't have a, about seven to eight seconds you have to get the call in a lot quicker. Um, it's about that that much of a difference, and uh, for our our offense that's quite a bit. But I thought a rod did a great job getting it in. You know we had all our all our guys on headsets and. I kind of just we went through the, the mock game type of thing and, and had our guys working all the, the substitutions and on defense and offensive side and worked special teams. So it was it was a really good day, hot day and, and, a, and a lot of great live work, live action. Got saw some great tackles, saw some guys breaking tackles, saw some guys making really big time plays for us. A couple of questions now from Jake Couch. Yeah, Kalani, you talked about the fact going live. How important is it that you go live at this point in camp and will you taper it off as camp pro progresses here? Yeah, I think the, the earlier on in, in fall camp, I mean, we, we've been really physical uh, since we started camp. So in all our practices, since we've been able to put full pads on, um, the first day we went full pads, we went live. And, um, you know, we've been, we've been doing live stuff uh, every here and here and now between the different parts of practices, but this is the time that we went straight live all the time and even did it on some special team stuff. So that, that was really good for us to go through that. Everything else is just kind of practice. It's like, it's not real practice. If you want to get better at tackling and get better at breaking tackles, you have to do it. You have to do it like a game. I also wanted to ask you, you mentioned special teams there. You talked about your confidence in the kicking game. Special teams wise, do you feel like you're solid? Yeah, I mean the way they're working and, and the way they, they kicked to today was really nice, and, and the returns look nice too. Um, when you're looking through this right now, day in the in the first scrimmage, it's more about the mechanics and making sure that all 11 guys are, are at least lined up correctly, that they're aligned correctly, and then that they got their assignments down. Now we'll start working on the on the technique and executing. But 
uh, overall, I thought they executed really well, and that, that's a huge compliment to the players and also what, what Kelly Papinga is doing as a special teams coordinator. I mean, it's, it's not easy to balance uh, the special teams um, part of it and then also get your guys to pass rush and, and, and to stop the run, uh, which he does with the DNs, and I thought they played, they played really well today as well. And that's K-pop. He, he gets it done. Good, Jared. Connie, do you see an emotional benefit to the guys? I mean, you're, you're getting some of the, you know, the work in today at the scrimmage, but being at the stadium and just kind of, is that revitalizing to the players a little bit? Yeah, you, know, you can see, especially the newcomers, the guys that haven't played in the stadium yet, you can see how excited they were for it and, and the, um, just the, the, the mindset of what that they know. It, we did it in spring, but now we know that this is like, this is weeks away. And um, so the, the guys are hungry for it. Uh, you know, we, we, we had to rotate players. You saw guys that wanted to compete. I mean, we had players that wanted to play every snap, which is a good sign, you know, and, and uh, uh, good energy. Um, so all, all that stuff has, has, has gone nice. It's not like we're going through kind of a, a lull in, in, in everything. I think overall the guys, are, they have great energy and passion and show today. And we'll just watch the film and see. I mean, there's, there's, there's always got to be a winner and loser in a play, but the effort is, is there, and that's what I'm really pleased with. Do you still feel it, the former player in you? Do you still feel that? Oh, yeah. I, love, I mean, shoot. Coaching is the next best thing to play. There's nothing like playing in the game and just getting, you know, getting in there and being physical and hitting people. <laughs> so it's a nice so it's a, it's a nice part of the game. I, I don't mind it. And, and so the, the fact that we had – the guys were smart. We had refs here today. So, we, you know, we've had guys throwing punches earlier, and we talked about it. Uh, today, none of that stuff happened. The guys are really um, playing the game. I would say the, the mistakes that were made were in between the whistles and then a, a couple administrative ones with, with, um, with offsides and false starts. But other than that, it is pretty clean. Let's have Jay ask and then uh, Jake. Well, I have kind of a non-scrimmage question, more of a recruiting question. A couple of players that, that are transferring in have told me that they originally turned you guys down, but they were impressed how the coaches, how well the coaches took it, how they continued to maybe follow their careers, congratulate them. Like there was no bad blood. Is that kind of a philosophical uh, kind of tact that you've taken and told your recruiters to take? That they don't burn any bridges, I guess would be the right word. Um, I, I think that's just, we just have really good people. And, and, um, you know, I know that, that recruiting can be like a, a sales job sometimes, and um, but but when you're when you're really getting down to it, you care about these young men that you're recruiting, recruiting, and it's when it's all said and done, it's up to them, and their families where they want to play, but it doesn't it doesn't diminish the, the the opportunities that that you got to know that person, you know, and that you you had a, a say in recruiting him, and and hopefully you had an influence on that person and his family, and so. Um, that's 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 the right way to do things. I think um, when you stress a kid out in recruiting and you make them focus on things that don't matter, um, sometimes they get a little distracted. This, for us, it's like let's focus on on the guys that want to be here and that they they fit. But um, being here, we, we want to coach the guys that want to be here. Um, and 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 for the others, we just want them to know what this place is about. And you start to realize that as, as coaches, when you when you represent it the right way. It has an influence on, on people, and we've had we've had a lot of players that say that, and even players that after we play them, they they're not in other programs. They always talk about how it was a great experience when they were recruited here. That that's that's what it's got to be about. That's 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 our culture. That's that's our right in alignment with our with our our church and and definitely with our university. And our administration appreciates that. But more than anything, our fans appreciate that. That's who we are, and and we'll continue to do that. And, um, I don't think uh, recruiting and stressing a kid is, is the right way to do it, but I think there's a way that you can you can you can sell your school and the right things about your school and your, and your program, and then do it the right way. And I, th I think that's uh, I, I feel like we do that, you know. So uh, ho hopefully that's a good sign. And Jay, maybe you're, you're catching light of that as you talk to some others. We've got time for one more question from Jay. In terms of position battles at this point, how quickly do you want them to resolve themselves? Do you them go deep into training camp? Where do you want to have them resolved? Uh, yeah, we got three weeks. I'd like to have it closer than three. Than, you know, I mean, maybe right now we kind of know 
uh, pretty much the the, um, the break off of choosing between um, the travel squad. And I, I don't know if there's a lot of uh, change up in, in the ones, twos, and threes, but um, it's it's more that there's a, there's still some battles to be made because we do so many different um, sub subgroups on offense, defense, and special teams that uh, you want guys to battle it out. So we, we had a great battle today with, with the position groups. Uh, I, I think we'll start to narrow it down as we start getting closer. I imagine a week from now we'll be we'll be close to being set, and then we'll definitely be set a week a week away from the game. So um, but we're going to utilize the time, but at the same at the same time we there's a lot of things we want to we want to be able to fix. Uh, and we have time to, to practice and make sure guys can compete and, and win spots. And, and, and maybe, a, you know, you're looking at defense. We, we have our, our base group. We have all our subgroups that go with it. Um, we're, we're looking for, you know, the fourth, the fifth corner. We're looking for the third, fourth safety guys that we, can, we know that we can mix in there. Same with the backers and the DNs and, back, and uh, D tackles. So it, it's, it's a, and that's just on the one side. We haven't even talked, I haven't even mentioned the different subgroups on offense and special teams. I also wanted to officially came out that Mason Wake is stepping away from football. What does he meant to your program? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I had a great conversation with Mason as he's trying to make a decision. And, you know, it, it, playing fullback in the, that H back position can be tough on your body. And I think he had to make a, a, the best decision for him and his health. And I'm always going to be about what's best for the, the student athlete. Uh, obviously, we're a better team, and especially with his experience, experience the things that he can do for our program, but uh, I, I also hope that he, he knows that we appreciate him. I, I know that myself and A-Rod and, and Steve Clark had, had uh, expressed to him and his teammates, we still love him. He's still part of our team and a part of our program. We'll support him in other ways other than being on the field, but uh, I look forward to seeing him have a, a wonderful life, and, and I look forward to the things that he's going to do in his future. He'll always be a Cougar. He still is one as we go through this this year, and there's a lot of things that we couldn't do without him, so I hope he knows that he's important to our program. Injury-wise, did you guys come out of the scrimmage pretty clean? Uh, well, had, had some guys get banged up. Obviously, when you go over 100 plays of live work, that could happen. Um, we'll evaluate it. I haven't heard uh, a confirmation from anything, but right now um, I don't have enough to tell you on that, but it looked pretty good so far. I mean, we, we had a lot of live work even with even with the QBs, so that, that, was, that was good stuff for us. Coach, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You look great in front of that that new backdrop. Do I? Is it new? Well, you know, we, if we can keep getting the slimming backgrounds, that would be good. I'm, next, I'm going to wear um, the exact shade of shirt so that you can't even tell where I begin and where I end. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Appreciate it, Coach. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend, Coach. Thank you.